Detroit's police chief, James Craig, tested positive for the COVID-19 virus. We are very happy to report that he has recovered and is actually here with us now. Chief Craig, thanks so much for taking a few minutes to talk with us. First and foremost, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling great. A week ago, I couldn't necessarily say that. Uh, a week ago, I was, you know, I had a fever, uh, loss of appetite, uh, very weak. You know, I tested negative on, on Wednesday of this week. And so um, I'm still recovering, but I'm, I'm so much stronger than I was a week ago, a week and a half ago. So talk to me about your department more broadly, about how hard it has been hit by the virus. Have you had a lot of officers who have uh, contracted the disease? Uh, we've had a number of officers. At one time, we had close to 500 sworn in civilian or even more than that that were quarantined. Um, but we responded quickly. I really believe the quarantine was very effective, but most effective was the fact that we got the uh, the ready test, the test that would turn around and give you a result uh, within 10 to 15 minutes. So the effort to get widespread testing has really paid off for you? Widespread, but in addition to widespread, rapid testing. You know, let's face it, when uh, we first started dealing with this virus, it was average of seven to 10 days to get results back. Now, when I got tested on the 26th of last month, I got my results back in 24 hours. And so now we have evolved uh, to the point where, in some instances, we're getting tests back within 10 to 15 minutes. That's what's making the difference. One of the takeaways we got from other agencies early on was to make sure we were cleaning and sterilizing our police vehicles that, as you know, are deployed 24 hours, seven days a week. Uh, that worked well. If I had one criticism, I wish if we had to do a do it over, if we had known, I think we would have started wearing the mask much sooner uh, than we did. But we didn't know. It's so much about this deadly virus that we're still learning. Um, but now, you know, like most departments, officers in the field are wearing the mask. Talk to us about uh, crime more broadly in the city. Is it up? Is it down? Have there been particular types of crimes uh, that you've been focusing on or dealing with? Well, you know what's interesting? We're no different in most major cities across the country. We've seen a, a decline. Our property crime, we're down 6%. Uh, our biggest drop is in the area of burglaries, probably because of the stay-at-home uh, policies instituted by the governor. Uh, we've seen a 16% reduction uh, in burglaries as compared to this time last year. Uh, your governor there in Michigan is talking about possibly opening up parts of the state's economy on May the 1st by lifting some of those uh, you know, strict stay-at-home rules. How do you think that would impact policing? You know, uh, one thing I can say about Detroiters, and while it was a, an early initial issue, um, people are compliant, uh, and so we we believe and we're confident uh, that we're going to start seeing a flattening of the curve, uh, a reduction in the number of COVID cases. But uh, optimistically, I think we are starting to move in the right direction. Chief, thank you so much for taking the time. We appreciate it. We appreciate what you do every day as well. Thank you so much. Have a great day.